Creating passive income through your banking system is one of the best techniques you can use to build wealth. This is rule number three of a three-part series called the rules of banking. My name is Darius and I'm Carmen. For the best infinite banking and financial advice, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified when we post new videos. Okay, so let's recap. Rule number one is pay yourself first. Rule number two is pay yourself interest. And rule number three is recapture everything. So by the end of this video, you will understand what rule number three is and how you can benefit the most from it. Carmen and Darius, what do you mean by recapture everything? Well, we spend money on every single thing that we do. Yeah. Just think about the device that you're watching us on now. How much did it cost you? Well, <laughs> you ever thought about maybe there's a way that you can get that money back from every single thing that you spend? You can absolutely do that when you use your own banking system and follow the rules, the three rules, to a T. You're right, and I think to, to add to that, when we spend money, we never for a moment stop and think, how can we get this money back? Because right. we know when we spend it, it's gone and we're not gonna get it back. Mm -hmm. But there is a way that you can get the money back. You just have to understand money and how everything works. And simply follow the rules. Mm -hmm. What we're hoping is coming across is that you can use your life insurance policy to finance your lifestyle. For example, home repairs, emergencies, business equipment, even investments. You can use your life insurance policy to finance all these things that you come across in life. And now that you have the ability to create your own banking system, it's all about putting the system in place so that you have created your own financial business, so to speak. So in essence, when you create your banking system, the point is for you to get rid of all of your third party debt or the consumer debt that we talk about, and then use your banking system to recapture all of your day-to-day -day expenses. Every time that you swipe your card, we're trying to figure out how to get all of that money back. Right, because it, the idea is to keep the interest payments that, you, that was leaving you, keep it in your system so that you can reuse it for something else. So comment below with an item that you would like to finance with your own banking system. And if you missed any of our videos about rule number one or rule number two, definitely click the link here so that you can get caught up on those videos, but check it out after this video. Now, how exactly does the recapture process work? Let's say you've been following the rules of banking to a T and you've been paying yourself first, paying yourself interest, and of course, recapturing everything. Mm -hmm. And you're in the market for a brand new car. You have enough cash to purchase this car outright because you are your own banker. Now that you found the perfect car for you, you're gonna do a little bit of recon work to find out exactly how much it would cost for you to finance this car through the car dealer. Now, you know that you're not gonna be doing that. You're gonna use your own banking system. But what you're trying to do is understand exactly how much it costs. Now, the car dealer lets you know that it's gonna cost you 4% interest over the next 60 months. Now that you have this information, you say, okay, thank you very much, but I'm gonna purchase this cash. Now, you drive off the, off the lot after just a few hours, instead of spending hours upon hours for that finance paperwork to come through, you only spend a few hours on the car dealership lot. You drive off knowing that you're gonna be paying yourself this 4% over the next 60 months. Because let's think about it, if you didn't have the money or if you didn't have the banking system, you would be limited to what the car dealership's offering you, which is 4% at 60 months. But because you use cash, you know that once you get home a month from that day, you're gonna start paying yourself for the next 60 months. Mm -hmm. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Because if we financed it through the car dealership, all that money over the next 60 months would be sitting in their account. But the difference is because you use your own banking system, it's sitting in your account after 60 months. Mm -hmm. Now, after 60 months, you have the car and you have the cash. Now, what does that mean if you have the car and the cash? Well, how much did it cost you if you have the car and the cash? Well, Nothing. it didn't cost you anything, but you made money from your transaction. And a car is a liability, right? Mm -hmm. It's a depreciating asset. Mm -hmm. You lose money. But in this situation, you didn't. Now, even if you decide to sell this car later, you're able to do that and make some more money. Or you even have money to finance a new car after five years, if, if you so desire. Mm -hmm. It gives you options when you have control. 
It gives you power when you have control. And the whole point about paying yourself first, because I know sometimes people just get stuck in the minutia of just how am I paying myself first? How does this work? Or, or paying myself back, essentially what I mean. So the same way you would take your income and write a check to the car dealership every single month, you are paying them every month. Mm -hmm. In this case, all you're gonna do is take your income and cut a check to a separate checkings account that you own. Mm -hmm. And we call this separate checkings account a segregated account. It's just a fancy name for a separate checkings account. And the reason why we want to separate it is because we don't want your income to be commingled with your day-to-day -day expenses. Mm -hmm. So you literally write a check to a separate checkings account that you just so happen to own. Mm -hmm. And you do that every single month without fail because you would do that same exercise with the car dealership because you would want to keep your car. You don't want them driving away with it. So you want to make sure that you are just as disciplined with paying yourself as you would in paying the car dealership. Right, and another another thing I want to add is if you miss a payment, are you going to repossess your own car? Nope. <laughs> no, but what you should do is add that missed payment on to the end mm -hmm. so that you can make sure that you get all the money back. Yeah, and that's, oh my gosh, that's such a huge point that Darius makes is because when you are in control, right, so now you have the money, you get to make the rules. If you happen to have a difficult month, you have the ability to have flexibility within your own banking system. Mm -hmm. So if you have to go a month without paying yourself, like Darius said, you're not going to repo your own car, but again, you just have to make sure that you tack on those payments to the the end. If things come up, if kids' expenses come up, if medical expenses come up, you at least can breathe a sigh of relief knowing that you have the power to choose what, what your options are and mm -hmm. how you go about your financial endeavors. Right. Now that you have your banking system intact and you're running money through your banking system and paying yourself back, the whole point of this is just understanding the control, flexibility, and the options that you have created for yourself. Now Darius and I tend to talk about cars a lot or real estate investing, but the fact of the matter is when you create your banking system, you don't have to go for the large ticket items because it's not about how much money you make, it's about how much money you keep. keep. <laughs> so even if you have to start small with your Starbucks coffees and recapture that money every single month, that's completely fine because guess what? That five, ten dollars that you're paying on a daily basis is now being deposited into your banking system. Mm -hmm. So we really want to inspire you all to be creative and think about every single time you swipe your card, how can you get that money back? Mm -hmm. We don't care how small it is or how grand the purchase is, but get back every single penny that you are spending. Right, and, and the key again is to control those habits, is to, mm -hmm. to piggyback on those habits because we're not really spontaneous. You think you're spontaneous, but you have a routine. Let's tap into our routine of spending and redirect those those funds. You're right, we're creatures of habit. We're creatures of habit. Mm -hmm. All right, so now that you all know how to recapture and the benefits of it, we have a free guide that we wanna to provide to you which is called 52 Ways to Own Your Own Lifestyle. So for those of you who haven't grabbed your free copy yet, go ahead and click the link below so that you can get access to your 52 Ways to Own Your Own Lifestyle. And this guide is just all about 52 different ways that you can own your own lifestyle and use your own banking system to finance all of the things that you purchase. Right, and if you wanna join a community of like-minded high achievers just like yourself, we have a Patreon community where we go over infinite banking and we share up-to-date information on how to navigate the sometime tricky space. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and also share this information with family and friends. Remember to own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will.